1990 Ford Sierra. Bit of an odd one, this one. So this was a South African only Sierra. The only, you can only get these over there, which is a right-hand drive, three liter V6. Um, basically an Essex V6, so the same thing you got in a whole bunch of Fords in the 70s, 80s, and early 90s. Um, UK registered, it came in earlier this year. V5, all, all that sort of stuff's ready to go. As you can see, it's finished in this nice clarity red color. Kind of has sort of sapphire looks to it. Spoilers and, uh, and things like that. Um, but obviously, three liter V6, as opposed to 30 grand's worth of Cosworth bits on it. So if we start on the bodywork, we'll start on this front wing. See that front bumper corner is all nice and clean. If we look down the side of the car, you'll see it is straight going all the way back. This front wing is nice and solid. Or oh, the front arch, sorry. Uh, nice and clean all the way around there. You've got a bit of a scratch on the leading edge there. One of the nice things about cars from South Africa, because it's warm and there's no salt on the roads, corrosion just isn't really an issue at all. Um, being red, it has sort of had the paint getting hot and, and baked a little bit. The lack is sort of marked a bit on the bonnet, which you can see. We've given it a quick hand polish and it did make quite a big bit of difference. So a good machine polish would, would help again. Um, but obviously you do have some sort of drying, cracking and crazing, which polishing won't fix on the lacquer of the, uh, on the bonnet. So really just get, just the answer is get the bonnet and a couple of the little bits done, which will point out as we go around. We've got these nice aftermarket alloys, which I think suit the car perfectly. They're pretty much brand new. Good set of tires all around as well. Going on this side, you can see the sills nice and clean all the way back. Driver's door, it's got a couple of little scratches and parking dings. Or parking scratches, there's not really any dents at all, as you can see by looking down the panel. The lacquer has sort of peeled on the wing mirror as well. On the rear driver's door, that's all nice and clean and tidy. All the plastics are nice and clean, not dried out or cracked or anything like that. But look on the roof, you've got a couple of little bits of peeling lacquer, but again, nice and straight, no ripples or dents or anything like that in it. Down this pillar, that's all good. It's rear arch again, lovely and solid all the way around. Another good wheel and tire. Round onto the rear corners. All the tail lights on both sides, they're good. Bumper sits nice and straight as well. And again, the lower half, you can see, nice and clean all the way around. And it's got Saf Cosy style rear spoiler. Uh, which I believe was a factory option on this car, but we'll, we'll detail in the description what we know about it. A bit more lack of peel here and there, but again, no ripples or dents. And you can have another look at the roof from this angle as well. Looking down the passenger side again, nice and straight. A couple of little scratches here. Another good arch, another good wheel and tire. Sill on this side is nice and tidy all the way along. The rear passenger side door has a few little marks on it. As you can see there, a couple of little scratches around the key on the front door. But other than that, again, pretty decent. Bit of lack of peel on the wing mirror again. This front wing is good. Again, another good arch. Small scratch just there. Like I say, the bonnet, it is faded. Once a bit of lacquer work sorting out here and there. Um, but actually, it's definitely worth sorting because it's, it's a really unusual car. Cracking looking thing. It's had loads of attention since it's been in here already. We'll go into the interior. Nice clean door card there. Super comfy seats, loads, nice and firm. The foam hasn't gone or anything like that. Got a tiny little bit of sagging on this bit of the bolster here, but not bad at all. Mileage wise, it's showing 30, can you see that? 31,000 miles. You check the, uh, the description, we'll detail what we know in the way of where it's, where it's been and what it's done for that sort of stuff. Just pull that bonnet there so we can have a look in a second. Nice tidy rear door card on that side. Headlining, looks nice. There's no real sagging or anything like that on there. And this rear bench seat, all nice and clean and tidy all the way across. Doesn't really look like it's been used at all. Electric windows in this as well. Um, especially, well, front and rear. Um, backs of the seats haven't been kicked or abused or anything like that. Underside of the boot, lovely and clean. As is the uh, boot floor carpet. We'll, uh, we'll lift that up and have a good look. Got a piece of sort of sound dead and trim there as well. I think it's the end of there. Lovely and clean. This is part of the reason why people buy cars from South Africa. Not only do you get funny spec stuff, um, but again, generally pretty rust free examples. And uh, of course, right hand drive. 
Another nice clean door card. Carpet set's all nice and tidy as well. It's grey, so you would think it would get sort of stains and marks, but that's pretty good. Rear seats, like I say, are all nice. Another clean door card there. And the passenger seat, lovely and tidy. If that mileage is correct, I would say those seats kind of reflect, reflect it pretty well. Dash top and everything, lovely and straight. There's no cracks or any damage to that. Lift the bonnet up and have a look. We'll have to excuse the dodgy camera work. So in here you've got, like I say, the three litre V6. This, this wasn't an option in the UK. So get this bonnet to stay up before we drop that camera. So like I say, it wasn't an option in the UK. Um, as anybody that's into their Fords will know, but it's basically an Essex derived engine. So three litre, pretty bulletproof, loads of tuning. People like Rick Wade and Burton and stuff like that, you can find any part you want for these things. Um, looks to be relatively standard. Standard air cleaner and all that sort of stuff on it. Still with serial numbers on, which is nice. Uh, inner wings and everything. Look lovely and clean in there. This panel on the front, all good, nice and tidy. All clean down there, and then the bulkhead looks good as well. Doesn't seem to be any sort of fluids or oil leaks or anything like that. Been sat here for a little while, it looks to be clean underneath there. Well, uh, we'll get it started up. So again, sounds like an SX V6, they do sound very good. No nasty fluids or anything firing out the back there. Engine ticking over happily. Now, we did leave it running for quite a while yesterday. Uh, while we washed it down um, Obviously one of the issues with an SX can be that the water jackets get blocked um, And they overheat but this thing didn't move off the temperature it was supposed to be on for at least half an hour while it was sitting and running It was about 27 degrees yesterday, so obviously a good sign We have briefly had it down the road loads of torque loads of power as well really really interesting thing to drive um, Check the description. We'll de detail a bit more about this model specifically uh, Like I say UK registered V5 is there. It's ready to go if you've got any specific questions on it, please let us know. Happy to send any extra photos or videos. Of course, you can come and have a look in person um, or anything else you might need from us. Just let us know. Thank you.